Hey there, how are you? In this video, we're gonna see how to install and set up Git in Windows 11. Before we start, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe and go ahead hit that bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. Now, without wasting any time, let's get into the video. I'm gonna see you on the other side of the intro. Welcome back. Before we go ahead and install Git in our system, first let's just make sure we don't have git already installed so i'm opening my ide visual studio code here and i have a demo project if i go to source control uh, section here it doesn't show me any options like initialize the repository or commit but it shows me download git for windows because we don't have it installed in our system Another way to make sure is uh, you can open your command prompt and type in get hyphen hyphen version. Uh, it says get is not recognized because we don't have get. Now that we made sure we don't have get already installed in our system, let's just open our favorite web browser and type in git download. And uh, let's go to the first uh, link here that says git hyphen sem.com slash downloads and go to windows i'm choosing 64 bit here uh, because my system is 64 bit if you have a 32 bit system uh, go ahead and click on this one and it will start getting download but i'm canceling this because i have already downloaded it before once you completed uh, downloading this, go to your downloads and click on the installer file. And read the agreement and click on next. And keep this as default. Click on next. And yes, let's go with the default options. It's going to be a bunch of next, next. And yeah i would like to select uh visual studio code as Git's default editor but you can also keep this as uh notepad or anything uh you wanted you can also keep it default okay right and click next and yeah let git decide that means uh, it's gonna keep your uh, main branch as, named as master but if you want any other name uh, you can select this option and you can give the name here but i'm keeping this as default click next and yes we would like to have path set up already so that it uh, we can run git commands from any of the third party software along with a command line as well so keep this as this option and click next yes click next 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 okay next next and that's it install yeah seems done uncheck this one if you want to see the release note you can keep this uh, keep that checked and click on and it's done now uh, let's close this and i will open it again command prompt and now run git hyphen hyphen version and it says uh, git version 2.38.1 windows.1 is successfully installed in our system uh, let's just check uh, if we get some options in visual studio code as well i will click on reload yes now i get the option as initialize repository so yeah seems working now let's just set up username and email id uh, for our commits so i am giving a command here git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name and followed by whatever the username you wanted in double quotes so let's do the same for email id as well uh, i will change it to user dot email and i will give my email id here you can give any details here uh, this is basically to keep track of who changed or who committed uh, 
uh, changes to your Git repository. So once you run above commands, uh, let's just run this command git config hyphen hyphen list hyphen hyphen show hyphen origin hyphen hyphen show scope. So here you can see your username and email uh, set up uh, along with uh, some other properties. So now you have git installed in your system. Uh, if you like the video, uh, click the like button and share it if you find it useful. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any queries and thank you for watching.